Okay, I was just watching um video put out by the Brady campaign titled Dennis Hennigan on the Packing Heat in Your Street Bill or the National Right to Carry Bill. Um and before I get into the actual text of the video and all that stuff, I just want to say I find it very fascinating that this is the second video I've watched from the Brady campaign and they have disabled the comments on the video, which I find very interesting because it means one of two things. One, they don't want to take the time to respond to any videos or anything like that. Or two, they just don't want any discussion, which kind of sends a red flag in my mind. You should want discussion. You should want every detail hammered out, you know, at least my opinion. Um, anyway, to the video, um, one of the things he stated that if this bill is passed, that it would make it easier to carry guns. Easier is completely wrong. I mean, I mean I'm nitpicking here because this is just like a term, but easier would indicate that it's less hard. And it's not, first of all, it's not like it's a super complicated thing, but it's not an easy thing to carry a handgun. Because, depending on your laws, you either you have to keep it concealed or you have to keep it open or which way. Or like here, I can do either one I want. You know. You have to change your lifestyle slightly. Um, like when I carry one of my guns, if I want to carry concealed, I have to have my shirt untucked. And again, it's not a big difference in my life, but it's a significant difference that I have to do. And it, granted, it's not a humongous complication, but it's still a complication. You know, I have to be cautious of that. I have to be cautious of who's next to me. I have to be cautious of, like, when I'm with my wife, where she's at. Where if something happens to her, I'm not going to muzzle sweep her. Where everybody else is at. You know, and things like this. So it's not going to make it easier. Because it's illegal to carry a handgun in the city of Chicago. And I go to Chicago at least once a year. You know. So it doesn't matter where my geographical location is. It's the same thing. Legally would be the proper word. I cannot legally carry a handgun in the city of Chicago. Or even in the state of Illinois. Um, according to this bill. I, I believe according to the text I read. That I should be able to if this law is passed. Just like I can drive in the state of Illinois. Um, so, there's that. And then also that he talks about how, you know, people will be able to carry their guns in Times Square and here and there and there. And, and I just think to myself, so kind of like the bad guys, bad people do anyway. So I would be able to legally do something that bad people do illegally. And they will still do illegally, but I would be able to legally do it. Therefore, I would be more personally protected and also have a better tool to protect other people that are around me. That's bad. Now, granted, I'm a firm believer that not everyone should be uh, accessible to be, have firearms. And I believe that not everyone should be able to carry firearms. But why are you going to limit the people who can against people who can't because I find it very interesting that a very similar thing alcohol there are people and I'm first person to admit there are people who can drink their entire lives responsibly and never have a single problem then there are a group of people who cannot and it's completely ludicrous today anyway to say no one should be able to drink because of this group of people over here who cannot drink responsibly they tried that and it screwed everything all up. But if you say that today, they're going to say, oh, that's wrong. But if you say, well, there's a group of people over here that own handguns, own firearms responsibly. And there's a group over here that doesn't. They're going to say, we need to punish everyone. And that's okay. But it's not. It's hypocrisy. So anyway, <clears throat> then he goes on to say that, you know, there's no constitutional right that carry a gun, um, even though that a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That's obviously not what it actually says. 
Okay, because it doesn't say the people and it doesn't say bear arms. It doesn't say that. That's not true. Or he just never took the time out of his day to read it. I understand he's probably a busy man and all. Um, you know, it's just insane to me that the law, in this particular instance, the law is actually protecting the criminal element. I am a felon. Actually, I'm not sure if felony or not, but I am a criminal at minimum if I cross an imaginary line in the dirt to the state of Illinois. It doesn't matter if I do anything. If I step 20 feet into the state of Illinois carrying my legally owned gun that I legally can carry in the state of Indiana, I am now a criminal. And I will, and I can be arrested. Okay? Now they want to stop, they want to stop a law that says, yes, he can carry that. I can carry that into the state of Illinois. They're not even talking about what, you know, Joe Gangbanger over here is going to do. They don't care about that. They care about me. Who has, you know, other than minor traffic offenses and stuff, really hasn't broken any laws. You know, I pay my taxes. I've served my country. I've served my state. And I continue to do so, in my opinion anyway, by paying my taxes, by supporting the military, supporting local law enforcement, supporting all emergency service workers, and doing whatever I can to make their jobs easier. Um, I just actually today went to the police department and made a statement about uh, something I witnessed the other day, which I'm not going to discuss about what everything it was. But anyway, but I had the full legal right to say, no, I don't want to talk to you. But I didn't. I will talk to you. I will tell you everything I saw, though, answer every single one of your questions, because that's the right thing to do. And not only as a responsible citizen, but as a responsible gun owner, I believe that is my right. That is my duty. So there you go, I kind of went off on a little tangent there, sorry about that, but uh, all I can say is write your congressmen, write your senators, and say we need to pass um, HR 822 and make it legal for me and all the responsible gun owners to carry their firearms across state lines. There you go.